Hello everyone and happy Tuesday. So today I'm going to share with you a story by Carletta Marie. It's called Promise of a Peach Blossom. A life lesson from my garden, inspiring story about hope, healing, after hurt. There was a time that I'd lay under her limbs, long and laden with peaches. The morning sun filtered through her leaves, her pink fluffy fruits sprinkled in golden light. She was my precious peach tree. She was privy to my prayers and all my dreams. I left for a season flying to Australia, my homeland. On my return, I walked the garden like I always did. The pomegranate tree wore her plump purple crowns. The olive tree flashed her silver threads, and the mandarin and lemon trees still bore fruit. I looked to my, to my beloved peach tree. There she stood, bare, a fat trunk, her once beautiful limbs reduced to short stumps. I discovered in my absence a not-so-nice neighbor. We'll call him Cain. Came over the fence, a hack he gave. Perhaps Peachtree stole too much of his view. But if that be true, wouldn't a trim do? But no, it was a hack, a cutting off, a great step back for my beautiful peach tree. I called the landlord, come see the poor peach tree. I called the local farmer and my friends to see what could be done. One by one they shook their heads and said the same. Oh no. There is no hope. The cut is too drastic for her to bear. She can't recover now. She'll not fruit again. I wept for my peach tree. Each morning I'd rise and go to the garden. There she stood, without limbs, nor leaves, nor velvety skin to touch. There she stood, once cherished, now bleeding from her bows sap running from her branches, now bare, cut off. Oh dear tree, bear fruit once more, I whispered, and I remembered a verse from scripture. She is like a tree planted by streams of water that yields its fruit in its season, and its leaf does not wither. In all that she does, she prospers. Have you ever felt like part of you was lost? Have you ever been cut off? Do you hold wounds that gape open and weep? Or have you ever felt stripped bare with nothing left to give? Well, today, my friend, please draw hope. For just like yesterday and the day before, I walked once more to the garden to whisper hope to my peach tree. And there, to my delight, I saw the tiniest pink peach blossom, a promise she will fruit again. And I rejoiced with my peach tree. This beautiful, simple story about a peach tree is something that we can probably all relate to in one way or another. We've always had moments of despair, or lack of hope in our lives, and we maybe felt like all things were lost, that everything that was will never be again. Well, maybe things won't be exactly as they were before, but with hope and the help of faith in God, new things will spring to your life in your being and in your world. And I promise if you focus enough and have your eyes open and your heart open, you will see these beautiful touches of rebirth and new hope in many, many different places. Be aware, be alert, and be open to see. And may God bless you. Have a great rest of your day.